Well, that pretty much wraps up uh, the debate part of it, but we have had some questions that have been sent through from our viewers during the week. Everyone will have a question. They'll have one minute to answer the question, one minute only, and then we'll uh, get ready for some results. First question goes to Amy. It's from Kay. I find selling my property to be quite a stressful procedure where fees have to be paid for advertising and agents, the house has to be kept in an impeccable order and you're dealing with a lot of external parties. When it comes to selling shares, it seems like there's a much easier option as there's no substantial fee involved, there's less hassles dealing with other parties. Do you agree? Um, well look, first of all, if you've got an investment property, I'd be asking why you want to sell in the first place. Hold on to it, refinance and use that equity to buy another property and build your portfolio. But if you do want to um, sell, whether it's your home or an investment property, don't look at agents as being stressful. They are there to help you market the property and get your best possible price. Look, the, um, look at the fees as a, another investment. Um, for a reputable, market savvy, recent member agent that can help implement an effective marketing campaign, you can perhaps add $20,000 to the price. Shares don't allow you to do that. They don't allow you to pull at those um, heart strings of other buyers and, and use a solid, tangible home um, that you know, p buyers can bring up their children in and, and, or use as a first start, as a, f as a first homeowner. Shares may be easier, but they don't allow you to reach a maximum price that still over exceeds any commission that you'll be paying. If you want to make money, invest in your investment and you'll reap the rewards. <laughs> Well done, well done Amy. Now, we have a question from Tom, and that question is for you Mark. I believe property is the better investment. If values <laughs> drop in the property market, you still have a house that you can live in, hold on to, for when the market improves. Therefore, uh, shares are the riskier investment option considering the volatile state of the share market and the possibility of losing your, market, uh, your, sorry, your investment altogether. Okay, for sure. So you don't have to sell your shares um, just if they go through a rough patch. I mean, hold on to them, especially if you've got good quality shares. Um, and I think we need to distinguish here with this question between the difference between home ownership and, and, and investment. The two really different things. And I'd turn that around and I'd say, look at the person that's got their home and they're now looking at borrowing some money and buying, say, the beach house. Okay. It's a bit of a lifestyle decision, but you need to really think about that in terms of what sort of investment returns you're gonna get out of that. You're gonna get no income on it, you're gonna get limited capital growth, uh, and you're gonna get no tax deductibility against the loan that you take off against the house. Your alternative would be, hey, let's take some of that money at a conservative lending ratio, speak to your banker about that, and put it in the market and some quality shares, and look for some of those 10 baggers over the longer term. Very good answer, well done. Uh, now moving right along, Anne-Marie, question for you Greg, um, wouldn't you say that investing in shares is better as it gives you more freedom when it comes to divisibility? With shares you can sell part of uh, your portfolio to fund a year's loan repayment, a holiday or something similar, and while the property uh, has to be sold as one, you can't just sell a bedroom off. The old lack of divisibility answer uh, uh, issue uh, and uh, lack of liquidity, look, property is long term. Uh, there's no denying. You, you shouldn't be going into a, a deal, generally speaking, to buy it one day and sell it the next. It's long term. Uh, if you do have those short term financial needs, then you really should be looking at uh, what investment you should be going for. Uh, property is long term. Uh, that's the important thing. The other thing I would be saying is uh, banks will throw money at a line of credit if it's backed by a mortgage, a second mortgage even. So uh, there's plenty of opportunity uh, to do all of those things you want to do. Sure, you can't sell the bedroom, uh, we're absolutely true, but what you can do is get that very effective line of credit. Yeah, good answer, very good. Now finally, from Darren, for Ryan, comparing apples with apples. Looking at the return from investing a, at a, on a house in a suburb such as Medindi or St George's to the return from investing in blue chip shares such as BHP, isn't the return going to be more substantial if you invest in a house in a prestige area? Thanks Tim and uh, thanks for your question Darren. Um, putting aside all of the intangible aspects of both that I've mentioned previously and focusing purely on performance, I pose the question. What do you think makes property prices increase? The answer is generally economic growth. A large portion of what causes economies to grow is the performance of major companies who have shares listed on a stock exchange. 
A company can grow its profits faster in a rising economic environment than property prices can increase. Everyone looks at what they originally paid for their property and what it's worth now, but they don't consider how much they've put into it along the way. If you put more money into the share market, you get more shares, not a depreciating kitchen. If you actually want to compare the two down, buying a house in Medindi 20 years ago would have returned you maybe four times your money. As on average, property prices double every 10 years. However, if you bought BHP shares 20 years ago, it would have returned you 10 times your money. As you can see, there's a big difference in the two bags. Oh, very well done. Now that we've heard from all our experts, we're going to, I'm just going to remind you that you uh, have a few more moments to vote on your winner, property versus shares on uh, Toop TV's homepage. And for the moment, we'll go behind the blinds and uh, have a look at some presentations.